Hello everyone and a Merry Christmas. Um, just thought I'd do a bit of a page turner of a, a Tamiya guidebook that I picked up on eBay. Um, it was an absolute bargain. Um, it was up at 2 99 starting price and I won it at 2 99 I think I paid about £3.75 postage. Um, so yes, yeah, so I was well chuffed with that. Um, I think the reason nobody else bought it and maybe why uh, it, I got it so cheap is it's actually missing the, the front cover. Uh, and the rear cover but that didn't really bother me um what i kind of obviously spotted from this you can see this is obviously one of the quite early ones um you know with the, the sort of metal chassis cars um it actually has got a date just here on the back if you can see that this is 1982 um so i'm assuming it is the 1982 copy um now a lot of people Got the, uh, the the kind of later ones like the the Avanti guidebooks. You know they're quite quite popular and they can go for anything between like thirty and fifty pounds in good condition. Um, but yeah, so I've already got one of those. But um, but yeah, this one interests me because I thought it's going to have like the Rough Rider, um, you know, like the uh, the, uh, the original like Sand Rovers and all that sort of stuff in it. So, um, so yeah, let me uh, move the camera position and we'll have a little flick through it. Oh, just before we uh, start looking through the magazine, uh, just a real quick one. Um, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, it's completely free. You just have to click the button. Um, if you turn on the notifications, so you know when my next videos are out, that'd be great as well. And um, give us a thumbs up. Cheers. Thanks. OK, so starting off on the, well, the inside cover, you've obviously got the Toyota pickup, a Renault 5 and one of the Formula One cars. Um, I won't dwell on these pages too much. They're just going to be a sort of introduction to radio control cars. Um, you know, how to set up your own track. Um, obviously, there's some cool pictures of racing back in the day. Looks like it's a Lamborghini. Some more Formula One cars there. Oh, sorry, not the camera. And things about doing your own track now this is cool i love seeing like the pictures from like you know back in the like early 80s these i think are especially cool the three wheelers there's one of these in here so um, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at that so yeah so now we're on to the cars now so this is the reason that i i, I bought it when because I, I thought i know it's going to have these like the proper early like Sun Rover and holiday buggies. Um, and I just thought it's just really nice just to have a flick through it. You know, I'm not bothered. It's not in mint condition. Um, got the RM chassis. Um, I think Glenn's just shown one of those that he put the um, that custom made body on it the other week. So um, so that's cool. Um, and then we're on to the, like, the Formula One cars. Again on like, they're kind of on the sort of metal sort of plate chassis underneath there obviously got the original six wheel Tyrrell um, Tamiya kit has been produced from our original works drawings with full cooperation I thoroughly recommend it to all modelers signed Ken Tyrrell that's cool some more of the Formula 1 cars got Ferrari there the old JPS uh, Lotus that brings back memories from watching uh, like Nigel Manson and stuff. Oh, the Lamborghini. Now that's super cool. But this is what I really... I'd love them to re-release something like this. This, uh, you know, the three-wheel sidecar. Absolutely awesome, that is. And then we move on to the off-road cars. Obviously, I've just bought the re, -re of the, um, the Rough Rider. The Buggy Champ, as it's now called. It's cool to see the original ones of those in here, and then obviously you've got the Toyota pickup, the um, Ford Ranger, which I'm sure will come back at some point one day. And then you've got your XR311. I've got a re release one of those to build, looking forward to that. Again, all metal chassis. Um, very, very different. And then it's kind of twin, which is the sort of cheetah. And then we've got some of the, the tanks. I actually used to have a tank back in the late nineties. I think I bought. I think I had. I think I had this one. Yeah, the Flat Panzer. Um, 
Unfortunately, the tracks kept falling apart. It wasn't the greatest, to be honest. Well, I got rid of it. And then finally, you've got the Renault 5 Turbo and the VW Golf Mark 1. Again, on their original like metal chassis. So it'd be really cool if Tamiya did release a few more of these. I don't know why they won't, because obviously, like I said, they've done they've done obviously the XR three eleven. So you know, why not do why not do some of these? And then we just get into the back where it's kind of about you know tuning the car, maintaining your car, you know, how to kind of make sure your your gears aren't worn out, how your uh, mechanical speed controllers work. This is quite good, showing the layout of the different chassis. Section on tyres and batteries, looking after your motors. And then the uh, obligatory kind of spare section at the end. And then some of the extra body shells you can get for it. So yeah, I just thought um, I'd just quickly flick through that because there's been a lot of page turners of the the later ones like the Avanti ones but uh, I don't think I've seen any of the early ones anyway hopefully you've enjoyed that a uh, little bit of a uh, Jack and Ori story time and um, yeah have a great Christmas and uh, a happy new year cheers guys bye <laughs>